All right, welcome back to another episode of Ham Radio On The Go. And in today's video, it's time to get on the VHF band for some band openings. Join us. Okay, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for watching. Summertime brings sporadic E and tropospheric ducting to the VHF bands, which makes what normally is a, nor a line of sight band for just maybe 30, 40, 50 miles at max. All of a sudden, that band will open up VHF and UHF, 6 meters, 2 meters, 440. And all the VHF bands, including 1.25 meters, will open up. And you can go from your typical 30, 40 miles line of sight to hundreds of miles. And uh, when that happens, it's usually typically summertime or maybe uh, in the fall. So it's time to get on the VHF bands. As you can see right there, there's an opening. That's a not a major one, but it's a, it's a decent one. As you can see, some of the uh, uh, DX clusters, and you can see the band on the left-hand side. So we're going to get on 2-meter uh, sideband. We're going to copy a beacon station um, on 2 meters. So let's check it out. Okay, there you have it. Uh, copying a beacon on two meters. Usually it's above uh, 260, 144.260 all the way up to 144.300 off the top of my head. You can copy uh, beacons on the two meter band. That was November 2, Golf Hotel uh, uh, Romeo on the two meter band coming out of Fox November 3-0. So that just shows you uh, typically HF uh, slows down in the summer uh, and uh, there's uh, still chance to get some DX and switch gears a little bit and get on the VHF band. That's what I do. Uh, I'll switch gears, maybe not concentrate so much on HF during the summertime. There's not that many contests, not that much activity. Um, and with all the solar storms lately, the band conditions haven't been the best. So it's time to get on VHF. Uh, one of the big clues is uh, you'll hear stations coming in on the local repeater. Uh, that's what uh, tipped me off uh, today. Uh, stations from uh, Massachusetts were coming into uh, repeaters in New York, coming in 5-9 uh, copy into the repeater, and that's your first indication that there's a band opening. Uh, and then you can confirm it on the, uh, on the Internet and uh, see for yourself, and you can get on FM, you can get on CW, uh, you can get on uh, uh, sideband and work uh, VHF, UHF, uh, 2 meters, 6 meters, 440, 1.25 meters, uh, and even 1.2. Uh, but your best bet is 2 meters and 6 meters uh, for uh, band openings uh, for the biggest uh, distance. Um, I have a uh, QSL card from a band opening years ago uh, to a station in Oklahoma from New York. So imagine that, New York to Oklahoma uh, on 2 meter SSB. Uh, and with the addition of FT8, uh, you can probably uh, do better than that, especially 6 meters. You can work the world on 6 meters. And keep in mind... This is all open to technician class operators, so in the summertime you can get in on the fun and work some DX on the VHF bands. Any success uh, with uh, summertime band openings, please comment below. I want to hear from you and see what kind of equipment you're using, antennas and radios and such. Even HTs, if you're in a high spot, you can get in on the fun. Comment below, like and subscribe for future videos of Ham Radio On The Go. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget, check the description for additional content on today's video. 7-3 everyone, thanks for watching.